How's it going, YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. Hope you guys are doing well. Time to take a look at the plates of the High Grade Revive Freedom Gundam. First and foremost, we'll get the typical stuff out of the way. Here is our standard polycap sheet that is being pretty much standardized across all the 144ths being released now. Yet to, I have yet to find out about those Iron Blooded Orphan kits, but that will change very soon. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Here's our sticker sheet. Once again, most of the red is for the rail guns and little accent pieces, and the blue goes on the beam rifle. That is a big side, but what are you going to do? And then red saber 13. It's very common, very boring. Where's my blue beams, Bandai? All right, on to the plates. A1 plate is a light gray, and this is primarily for the hip rail guns, though you can see the chest vents right here next to my thumb and the collar. That is A1. A2 is the reds. We've got the red for the cockpit hatch here, which is very surprising. In the old one, I think that might have been a sticker. And then we've got the face, the red uh, spar for the center of the shield. Very nice. I'm really liking how this is coming out. All right. B1 plate, which is huge, and is the most of the white external armor. And then we have the B2 plate, which is really just, as you can see, it's just a clone of the top, I'll call it top half of B1, so that's that. The C plate is up next, and it is all the normal blue for the exterior, such as the wings and the feet. D plate, it looks black to my eyes, but on the screen it's coming across as like a dark navy blue, so make your own choices and judgments based on that. But it still looks very good with all the detailing, especially here for the vents in the chest. Uh, here's the piece for the shield, and here are the other parts of the wings. E1 plate is going to be internals. Nice to see that we've got internals for a be for the beam rifle here instead of just two whole pieces you uh, clap together. And then, yeah, just internal joints. E2 looks to be a... Yep, it is a clone of hmm, just that little section right there. And then the two smallest plates of this kit are the F1 plate, which is the clear yellow for the eyes. Thank you so much, Bandai, for doing this for the high grades. I cannot believe they went this route. And then the F2 plate, which is the the only yellow on this entire suit, just for the internal part of the V-frame. V-fin. All right, guys. That's it for the plates. I'm going to get wor working on this kit pretty soon. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. I love reading them, and I love getting to know you guys. Take care of yourselves. Let's keep the community growing. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.